What's going on everybody? It's Jack. Welcome back to this week's video. A little bit different style format. We're doing a Q&A. It's so just to sit and talk to the camera, nothing too crazy. I got questions for you guys on my YouTube channel as well as Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and do that now. Almost at 5K. I appreciate the support, but most of my questions did come from Instagram with a few from YouTube as well. The ones on YouTube are a little bit more lengthy, but I'm gonna to split this question and answer into a more fitness related and then a personal side. But we're gonna dive right in. Do you plan to ever compete? I assume this means bodybuilding, although I do wanna also compete in a powerlifting meet. Not in the next year or two. I think for now, I'm still just building my base of strength and muscle mass. I think if anything, I would start with a bodybuilding show and then maybe a year or two later do a powerlifting show. So yes, I do plan to compete in the next two years, probably not. What is your max bench? So I'll just go over my max bench of all time is 315. Currently, it'd probably be like 295, maybe 300. All time max squat is a 405 squat and all time max deadlift. I think it's only like 455, something like that. And I hit those last year. I've been focusing on a little bit more hypertrophy focus, but those are all time PRs. What supplements do you take? So most of this, oh, this actually pairs well with a question later on, which is somewhere down here. What's my favorite protein powder? Oh gosh, before I was sponsored by Transparent Labs, I went around, I tried everything. I mean, Ghost, Rise, um, literally everything you can find at like a GNC, I tried it all. I would say my favorite flavor or my favorite like protein specifically was the Ghost Oreo, but it did upset my stomach a little bit, so I didn't use it as much as I probably should. I, even didn't, I didn't even finish the tub. I ended up giving it to a friend, but now my favorite protein on Transparent Labs is the milk chocolate. I literally have it almost every single day. It's like chocolate milk, and it's really high in protein and good quality. Other supplements I take, I take a multivitamin, fish oil tablets, um, joint support, digestive enzymes. Um, that's pretty much the most consistent as well as creatine. And then I do take pre-workout now. I actually did caffeine, um, just like energy drinks for probably like a year or two ago. I just did white monsters or rains pretty much year round. And then I kind of leaned off of that and I'm, now I'm getting a pre-workout again. I like Gorilla Mind, I like Transparent Labs. And I also like, what was it? I think it was some sort of like wrecked or something like that, but I also enjoy that. All right, I need to speed up here. All right, when did you start lifting? I started lifting in high school during sports and then during my sophomore year of college, so about five years ago, I started lifting a little bit more seriously, but still didn't take it too seriously outside the gym. Like my nutrition was crap, I was drinking too much. I'd say the last two years, I've been taking lifting a lot more seriously. Any advantage to an upper lower push pull leg five day split versus an upper lower four day split? Yes, you're in the gym an extra day, so that means if you have the ability to recover properly from five days, you'll just be able to do more exercises and hit those muscles a little bit better because on a four-day split, you only get upper body two days a week, whereas a push-pull, upper-lower split, you get upper body three days a week. So pretty much whatever you can recover from. That leads into my next question, what is your favorite split? So personally, I work out six days a week, sometimes seven, but currently six. I do a push-pull legs, push-pull legs variant. My favorite split of all time is probably push-pull legs, Arnold split, which is chest, back, arms, shoulders, and legs. But if you have four days, I think upper lower is great. Three days, probably full body. And then five days, yeah, like a push-pull legs, upper lower, something like that. Um, how much cardio versus weight for women to lose fat? So I think this is gonna be standard across the board, men and women. I think a lot of times people misunderstand like, oh, women need to work out differently than men. In some cases, yes, especially if they would wanna target their glutes a little bit more. You can train your glutes three days a week and see progress where maybe a guy doesn't want his glutes to grow, so they might have different specific training. But I think in general, fat loss, me being a deficit. And as far as cardio versus weights, I mean, it's gonna vary person to person, but I would say, I, I don't like putting numbers to things, but like 70% of the time you should be focusing on weight training and lifting, and 30% should be cardio or using cardio as a tool to create a deficit to lose that fat. I have videos about that, a little bit more in depth, but that's just a quick answer. What is your thoughts on intermittent fasting? I am a big fan of intermittent fasting when you're trying to lose weight. I personally cannot intermittent fast and gain weight, so I have to eat around the clock. But in order to lose weight or constrict your calories a little bit and make sure you stay on track, I think intermittent fasting is great. Focus on tea, black coffee, water in the morning, maybe a piece of fruit to kind of push that first meal and then do two big meals later in the day. I've done it before and I think it's a great strategy. Next we have, okay, so this is another dieting question. Uh, have you ever used the keto diet? Do you believe flexible dieting is more sustainable? So I have never tried the keto diet. I definitely should make a video on that. 
maybe do a keto diet for a week or something, maybe I'll do that in the new year. I have seen great success from some of my friends and family actually try the keto diet and lose a lot of weight. Do I think it's sustainable? No, personally, I love my carbs way too much to not be able to eat carbs, but for some people, it might be sustainable. They see the results, they like the results, and they just kind of get used to eating that way. However, I think a more sustainable approach is the flexible dieting style. We kind of have macros you want to hit, eat clean, whole foods, and that's a great way to focus on either losing weight or just being healthier. Um, do you ever train fasted? How many meals do you eat? So I personally don't enjoy training fasted. I feel like a little bit more lethargic in the morning if I don't have a first meal. So if I'm like intermittent fasting, I always try to train after work or later in the day. But you can definitely train fasted. Some people like it because they have nothing in their stomach and they don't have maybe an upset stomach if they eat their first meal. I personally don't like training fasted, but it's definitely something you can experiment with and see if you like it. And then how many meals you eat a day. I typically eat four meals a day with a snack here and there. That does change whether I'm bulking or cutting. When I'm cutting, I probably do about three meals a day. Um, how do you train around an injury? So um, it really depends what the injury is. If it's like um, a rolled ankle, maybe just take a couple days off from leg day and just focus on upper body. If it's like an ACL tear, which my little brother's actually going through right now, you definitely need surgery, rehab. I'm not a professional in any regards to recovering from an ACL, but I would say whatever they recommend, do that. I think there are a lot of uh, more professional people that can recommend how to work around an injury. Personally, if I have like a tweak in my shoulder or knee or something like that, I'll probably take maybe a deload for that body part for a week, see how it feels, kind of rehab it here and there. I like to do biking if I have any knee issues, and I like to do a lot of like band work if I have shoulder problems. Um, I've noticed that that's helped a lot, and proper warm-ups, probably one of the most important things. Um, how much cardio do you do? Currently zero, I'll just walk my dog, and then when I'm actually cutting, I'll probably work up to maybe 30 to 40 minutes, five or six times a week. Strength versus aesthetics. I like to have a balance of both, but if I really had to choose one, I'd probably pick aesthetics. I wanna look good outside the gym, but also be strong in the gym. So yeah, it's a balance, but I'd say aesthetics. Uh, do you give yourself cheat days? Do you eat out and how do you track what you eat out? So yes, I do do cheat days. I have plenty of cheat day videos on my channel, 10,000 calorie videos, all that kind of stuff. I do not track cheat days, but I track when I eat out, if that makes sense. So like a cheat day, it's completely like whatever, no holds barred, just eat whatever you want. I normally do that at like the end of a cut. I just need the mental break, have all the foods I've been craving, that kind of thing. Otherwise, honestly, when I'm bulking, I don't really have those cravings because I'm eating so much food anyways and full all the time. But when I do eat out, I do try to track that the best I can. If it's not readily available on my fitness pal, I'll kind of make a best guess, that kind of thing. But I do track pretty much year round. What is your go-to Chipotle order? Funny, I just had that. It's white rice, black beans, double fajitas, double chicken, mild, medium, cheese, and lettuce. Sometimes a tortilla on the side. Um, let's see. High satiating meals on a cut. I struggle to make sure I'm full when I'm cutting. I'd say anything low calorie, vegetables, fruits are probably the two biggest cheat codes. And then things like low calorie bread, potatoes. I try to stay away from rice because some people it is satiating, for others it's not very filling. Cauliflower rice is a great substitute. I have loads of meals on my channel for like low calorie, high protein meals. You can check some of those out. Um, would you ever consider taking gear? Well, I guess that means I'm not controversial. You guys don't think I am. So I do not take gear. I do not plan to take gear. I just don't see the benefit for me personally. I get it for some people if it's their full-time job to look good year round, sell products, um, have a business, all those kinds of things. I get it. I get why people do it. I don't like when people lie about it or give false expectations about what's possible. So no, I do not plan to take it. I'm not currently on it. Uh, but I also don't have anything against people that take it, except those that lie about it to give unrealistic expectations for people like me when I was growing up. But other than that, advice for handling nutrition on holidays, vacations, special occasions, such as birthdays, when you want to eat out with your family. So biggest thing is to relax a little bit. One meal or one day is not going to ruin your entire progress. So I would say focus on eating high protein meals throughout the day before the special event, before the holidays. Focus on uh, things like egg whites, deli meats, lean meats, proteins, all that kind of stuff, and filling foods like vegetables. And then when you have that one meal, try to just do one plate rather than like two or three plates and then maybe only have one dessert versus three desserts. Little things here and there. But once again, relax, you're enjoying your family time, your holiday, whatever it is. One day or even one week sometimes will not ruin everything. Just get on track the next day, maybe add a little cardio in, all that kind of stuff. Next question, so program hopping. I tend to want to jump from program to program. I get bored and want to change things up. 
this is a tough one. It really is because I think a lot of people do feel the way you do. Like personally, I'll, I'll admit it, I do the same thing for eight to 12 weeks and I feel like I'm just getting started. But some people, I get it, they want one week, two weeks, change things up. I think the biggest thing is to trial and error. If you want to try a completely different type of working out, if you go to Orange Theory and you're like, oh, this is boring, all I do is row, weights, and cardio, maybe try a cycle bar class or a Peloton class or CrossFit or some sort of functional fitness or just go to the gym and lift weights. I think the biggest thing is find what you enjoy and do that because doing something you enjoy all the time is a lot better than doing something you don't enjoy for like 50% of the time, in my opinion. So I would say try different things, but at the end of the day, a program is, or a good program is written for a reason and you're supposed to do that program for X amount of time for a reason. So you wanna to stick to it, make sure you see all the gains and progress you can, because that's gonna be the best way to make improvements. Uh, how often do you track your weight? I weigh myself just about every day. Obviously there's some days where I just don't weigh myself, I'm not home, I don't have a scale with me, but I try to weigh myself just about every day. It's just a metric I use. I don't, I'm not too worried about the scale itself, unless I'm cutting. Um, but I just like to have that metric in my head of knowing how much weight I've gained maybe in the last day or two. If I overate, I kind of know my scales can go up. So I don't worry about too much, but I do weigh myself just about every day. Um, and then there was one longer question on YouTube because I organized everything and I was like, I don't even want to write this out. But, so this is a very long question. I'll kind of skim it real quick. I suck at tracking my calories every day. Any tips on staying disciplined for a beginner? How much pounds should you be losing per day or per week? Uh, without losing any muscle, how do you develop discipline without, with working out consistently and effectively? I would work out for a week. Okay, so it's a little bit of that discipline. Um, I want to lose fat and gain muscle, but I have so much trouble hitting my protein intake. Any tips? It's hard for me to hit one gram per pound of body weight. Okay, so there's a lot to break down in here. I will say I have other videos about like lean bulking or cutting that probably go a lot more in depth. But just to cover things, how do you track calories every single day? You just gotta get in the routine of it. Download MyFitnessPal. It takes about four to five minutes per meal. So that's only like 15 minutes a day to track everything. And the more you do it, the easier it gets, the quicker it gets. I have meals made on MyFitnessPal that I pretty much eat almost every day. And it takes me two clicks to log that meal. Um, how many pounds should you lose per day or per week? Um, I would say when the weight loss phase, you wanna lose about maybe 1.5 to 2% of your body weight per week, but this is very dependent on your starting point. If you're really, really obese, you can probably lose a lot more. If you're already lean, you probably can't lose as much. Maybe focus on 1% per week. Okay, here's a good question. What's more important for fat loss, eating healthy or being in a deficit? No matter how healthy you eat, if you're not in a deficit, you're not gonna lose weight, period. Uh, I wanna lose fat and gain muscle. So losing fat and gaining muscle is kind of like a body recomp. This is a lot easier for beginners that don't really have that muscle already built on. It's a lot harder for the more advanced trainee, but you can definitely lose fat and gain muscle as a beginner if you focus on eating clean, eating enough protein, and then definitely training hard in the gym. And then you have any tips for higher protein intake? Protein shakes. Two protein shakes with 30 grams per scoop of protein. That's gonna be 60 grams right there. And you also don't need one gram per pound of body weight. That I know a lot of people say that, it's just an easy number, but really you probably need like 0.7. Some studies go even down to like 0.65 per pound of body weight. But I would say just try to get as much as you can. Lean proteins, egg whites, protein shakes, chicken. Cheat codes are like Greek yogurt and protein shakes. That's what I'd say, so that's what I recommend. Um, okay. So that was kind of a little bit longer than I want it to be. So we'll just go through some personal questions real quick. I probably won't go through all of these, just kind of like save your time. But uh, where are you from? Okay, so very basic information. I'm 24 years old, I'm five feet nine inches, I'm currently 176 pounds. My weight fluctuates between 162 or three-ish at my absolute leanest and 183 or 184 at my heaviest. So that 20 pounds is about where I range between. Uh, I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio and yeah, that's the very basics. Okay, so what's your favorite brand of protein powder? I already covered this. I currently use Transparent Labs. Milk chocolate is my go-to. Uh, where did you get your anime shirts from? So if you guys notice, I have a lot of anime shirts in my videos and just when I work out, it's kind of like my pump cover. And even this, this is like a swollen neck sweatshirt. Just a little things I found, mostly on the internet, just um, Urban Outfitters. I get some from Zoomies. Sometimes it's just a Google search. If I want like a black clover t-shirt, I'll literally Google black clover t-shirt. A bunch of stuff will pop up and I'll just pick a website and order it from there. Uh, but yeah, a lot of just like kind of like searching the internet. Sometimes I get ads that pop up on my Instagram and it's a cool shirt and I'll buy that. Are you single? Yes. Favorite TV show? So favorite TV show of all time, I would say probably Game of Thrones. 
And then anime, ooh, probably Hunter Hunter by far. Not by far. Hunter Hunter, Attack on Titan, and Death Note are probably my top three. Uh, where do you go to school? So I go to the University of Cincinnati. What are you studying? I am currently getting my MBA in business administration in grad school. I did mechanical engineering undergrad at UC as well, and now I'm getting grad school there. Uh, do you have a job? So I do have a part-time job. I drive pedal wagons. Do you play video games? I don't really play video games that much. I used to play like Super Smash Bros, Mario Kart, um, those growing up, but I never was really a first person shooter or anything like that. Occasional computer games, but not the biggest gamer out there. I do like actually a lot of uh, on the phone games like Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, Brawl Stars. I really do enjoy those on my phone, but I don't play those as much anymore. Do you have a celebrity crush? Okay, yes, celebrity crush. Once, easy, Blake Lively is my celebrity crush. And then if I had a fitness crush, maybe that's what they meant, uh, probably Morgan Rose. So, but obviously Ryan Reynolds and Steve Cook are absolute legends, so can't compete there, but they are my crushes. Uh, how old is Maisie? Maisie is actually turning four years old. She's a Christmas puppy, so she's turning four years old in six days. What sports do you play when you were growing up? I played all the sports that you can think of when I was in grade school, soccer, basketball, lacrosse, golf, tennis, literally anything I could get my hands on, any sports, and then in high school, I just played lacrosse and golf. Didn't play anything in college. I played club golf in college, but that's a little different. Um, and let's see, what is your favorite meal to cook? I would say probably my breakfast, that like casserole thing, where you have like bread, you tear it up, egg whites, breakfast casserole type thing, like cinnamon French toast casserole pie. It's on my YouTube a few times, but if you guys know what I'm talking about, that's probably my favorite thing to make because it tastes good super great macros and it's extremely filling. But honestly, there are a few other questions. If you guys have any specific ones or I missed your question, just throw them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer those. Yeah, without further ado, I'll end it here. Thanks for tuning in guys. I know it was a different style of video. Hopefully you got to know me a little bit better. I've been on YouTube for a little over a year now and I've never done a Q&A, so I decided to do one right now. If you guys have any more questions, like I said, leave them down in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. It's free, it supports me, all good things, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.